I'm Jamie and today I'm going to show you how I like to wrap up my dreads. What what? If you're new to our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I do new videos every single Monday. We also do fun challenges and reviews. If you guys are ready to start, let's go. Okay, so I'm just going to take four colors of embroidery floss and a pair of scissors. You don't have to use four colors. You can use as many colors as you choose. I just choose these four. So I'm going to take this first color and I am going to measure out the length of the dread just like this. Hold it at top, bring it down to the bottom, pinch that bottom and then fold it in half. Pinch that bottom and fold it in half again. And then I'm going to fold it in half one more time. That way we'll have plenty of string to work with. Find the ends of the half and just cut it. And now I'm going to take this and use this as my measurement for the other three colors. So holding the string up top, bringing it down to the bottom and cutting it. And do the same thing with the other colors that you have too. I'm using pink, purple, silver, and blue. I love these colors together, but you can use whatever colors you choose. Once you get them all cut, fold it in half, match up the ends, bring it up to the front. See this little loop right here? I'm going to take this loop, put it around my dread, and then I'm just going to tie it in a knot right up here on the top of the dread. Just like this. Knot. Now decide which color you wanna do first. I wanna go with blue, so I'm going to find the two blue threads and pull them out. Hold the other colors down tight against the dread and take the blue and just wrap it around. Wrap, 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 wrap. Now it just depends on the look you want for how many times you wrap it. I like having it nice and tight like this. I'm going to wrap it around probably about 10, maybe 20 times of this color until it gets down to as far down as you want. See, just like this. Once it gets down and you can see a lot of that blue coming out, I'm going to switch colors. I'm going to use the pink. So bring this blue around, match it up with the other thread. Pull out these two pink strands and holding the blue down tight, I am just going to wrap the pink around it. Once you go around it about one or two times, you can loosen up on holding the blue because it will be locked in. You don't have to worry about it as much. And again, I am just going around a whole bunch of times with this pink too. If it gets too loose and it starts to slide down, you can just pull it back up and it'll be fine. Once I decide I'm done with the pink, I'm going to do the same thing, hold it together and pull out two more colors. This time, instead of doing two purples or two silvers together, I am going to use one string of purple and one string of silver so that you can see the little twist effect. See that? I like the way that this one looks too. And I mean, really, I'm just doing the same thing all the way down. Anytime you want to switch colors, just pinch the color that you have together, take the new color that you have over to the side, separate it out and wrap it around. And you don't have to do the same pattern that I'm doing. You can do a lot of blue with just a little bit of pink. You can do a lot of pink and green with a little bit of yellow. It really doesn't matter. You can use all four colors and take one string of each color and wrap that all the way around to the bottom and that would look really cool and have a really cool twisted design going on too. Just keep twisting, twisting, twisting. Once you get down to the bottom, I am just going to take the thread, wrap it around my thumb like this, bring it around the bottom and pull it through to make a knot. See, right on along the bottom right here. Make another knot right on top of that just to make sure that it stays real tight and won't come off. And bam, there you go. You can do this with hemp too if you want. Oh, I love this so much. And then just cut off the leftover ends. Snip. And bam. Looking good. I'm just going to flatten that knot down a little bit. And yeah, there you go. So what did you guys think? Did you like this tutorial? This really reminds me of the little friendship bracelets that I used to make all my friends in elementary school, but for your hair. If you guys like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every single Monday. I'll see you next week. Bye.